All right, welcome to part two of the Honda GX160 build. In the previous video, if you haven't seen it, we assembled the piston, the crankcase, the camshaft, and now we're gonna start assembling everything on the outside, the flywheel, the coil, set everything up, set the valves, get this thing ready to fire up. But the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna work on this side of the engine, mount this little guard up, put the flywheel on, and get everything set up. Before you put the flywheel on, there's a couple things you want to make sure it's keyed. So you want to make sure the key's on the shaft. Maybe just rotate it to the top to make it easier. I also put some copper coat on it. Just in case it ever has to come off, it's not going to get seized on. So we got the fan, we got the hub. Let's put this on. You want to make sure it's on there the right way because if you don't have it on there right you set the air gap for the coil it's supposed to be between 0.2 and 0.4 millimeters so I'm just gonna round it off in the middle of 0.3 that's how we're gonna set it up Basically what I'm doing is I got my feeler gauge underneath and I'm holding it down because we've got to set the one on the bottom. There. Hopefully you can see that. Feeler gauge in both. 0 0.03 now it's a good time to rotate it around just to make sure it's not catching on nothing. Now that we got everything installed we're ready to put the recoil cover on I got the switch in got the wiring this right here bolts on there they're going to look up the wiring just to confirm pretty sure it's yellow to yellow black to black we'll double check on that let's get this cover on screwed up so yellow goes to yellow black to black so we're on the next step we're getting the head ready Here's the head gasket right here. There is only one direction it can go on, is like that. This one here kind of felt snug, but it's all right. I just didn't want to risk stripping it out because things wouldn't end well there. It's pretty important. A lot of things I don't torque because once you've been in the trades for a while you kind of know or feel when a bolt is tight. But things like head gaskets are very important. I torque those because if those aren't torqued evenly there's a good possibility that you know the head gasket is going to be weak in that point and it might blow out. So the torque spec for this is 17 foot pounds. That's what I googled so hopefully it's right. Now that the head's on it torqued, we're going to put the push rods in and remember I dumped some oil down there. I just want to tighten that down by hand. There, now I know I got it in the right ready spot. To set the valves at top dead center. Now, basically how that goes, as I turn this over, I actually just passed top dead center. We're going to wait until the valves stop moving, which is going to be right about there. 
And then I turn this. I made my homemade marks. We line it up right with right there. Now we need to set the intake at 0.15 millimeters. And as you can see, these ones have a nice curve to them. Basically, want it finger tight. Finish setting it up, 0.15. The exhaust needs to be set to 0.2 mils. I'm just gonna pour some oil down over there. All right, let's get this valve cover on.